ideation with intent. He cut uh-huh. himself. And the response was, well, how deep did he cut? Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, you've got it with, with you. You know how to fight. I, I do know how to fight, and I will. I just... Takes even more energy, you know? Sure. Well, that's what they're banking on. Exactly. Exactly. What insurance company do y'all have? It's Aetna. It's a Medicare Advantage PPO. Okay. And Carolyn, who did you work for when you wrote? wrote oh, Dave, David's office. Oh, oh okay. David's office, yeah. Yeah, and we had to clear a lot of that. We eventually had to close that pain, invasion pain unit because then they would authorize it and then they'd find some little thing and then they wouldn't pay. That's right. Right? Yeah, yeah. Behavioral health is the they worst. Go, they they force you crazy. out. Mm-hmm. There is probably not an inpatient pain you want to hear it? because of that. Yeah, there's a lot of stories about COVID. I'd like this to be the next story. Hello. Hello. Okay. Call the Houston Chronicle. Oh, I'm going bigger. Oh. I'm going bigger. That, that I'm going national, national baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> but they'll pick it up. Other app? Other app? Yeah, let me see what up in the corner. Yeah. Well, oh. if I can help you in any yeah. way, can you run call me? Thank I'll you very much. Notes. I'll take notes. I'll write letters. Thank you. Now it's, I mean, I know what to do. It's just sure. um, it's, it's perseverance and fighting is it's what Sam it is. Colleen. <laughs> what is that saying? The early bird gets the worm or something? Like, yeah, yeah right. you keep the fight up right. and a hundred other people don't, unfortunately. Check, check. And they're going to take care of you. Yep, I can hear you. You oh. can hear us? Awesome. Can you can hear, hear my dad? Can you hear me as well? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Awesome. Am I lower than Andrew, or um, you're a little bit lower than him? Okay. But isn't that the way it's supposed to be? Story of my life. <laughs> if anybody has not listened to Hannah's videos, it's, it's amazing. Oh. It is just amazing. <sighs> there and there are more to come. Well, Rabbi Scott, you do understand CSK is going to have to provide everybody with a lot of Kleenex because I watched that after the noon and I was practically bawling. It was so beautiful. Yeah, it's really, really amazing. I'm afraid, though, that now that she's out there, that somebody's going to steal her away. Well, she's booked with us for now. (laughs) Now, Rabbi Scott put a hex over her. She won't ever do that. Check, check, check. I don't engage in hexes. Am I, am I a little more audible now? You yeah. are You are more audible. Okay. How's everyone doing? How are you feeling? Well, Healthy? Hey, Jay, how are you feeling? Uh, oh, right. It was not a good day, but it's, oh, it's getting better. So, Jay, not that it's nearly as bad, but my left arm is hurting. Because I got my shingle shot. <laughs> oh, you went ahead and did that, did you? It was okay. on the. I needed to get it done, and having heard you had it, I was. I'm. I was on my way. Yeah, I'm. I didn't. I didn't remember Jay. Sorry, I passed. Yeah. I didn't mean to out you. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. I'm, I'm isolated. Machadash. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Lisa and Andrew. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Lenora. Mom, how are you? Oh, I didn't say hi, Lenora. Linda, how are you feeling? I can't hear you. I'm doing good. Good. I am enjoying my yellow. <laughs> what happened, Linda? I you felt like guy. broke my radius and ulnar. Ooh, hurtful. How's the other guy? Yeah, he took it a lot worse. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, all is well. I don't know right. who right. is here right now, but uh, Sandy and Joan, thank you. Linda, 
if Linda in the top right corner of your screen, do you see where it says gallery view? Yeah. Click that. No, I'm kidding. No, oh, you don't see where it says gallery view? <laughs> no, I just uh, it I say do. speaker view. I see it. I see it. Oh, hello. Ah. <laughs> hello. Everybody <laughs> wave at Linda. <laughs> Look at all the people. Yay. It's so nice to see everybody virtually without masks. <laughs> oh, wait. Want to see my, my special mask? Yeah. It makes it invisible. <laughs> I thought the uh, arm curse uh, was broken, Linda. You just revived it. <laughs> so long at uh, seeing look at that mask. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? I can't read your Scott. What does it oh, say? You can't read it? No. Well, that's the problem. Oh, that's when you're cool. old, you can't read it. I love it. It says rabbi. Yeah. Oh, anyway, does it have a Jewish star over the eye? It's got your name on it. Uh, yes. Oh, that's really cool. I just ordered a bunch of masks made by women in Tanzania to give oh. to the healthcare workers that are caring for Chuck. Nice. Uh, there's a, a woman, um, Mandy, I can't remember her last name. She's from Houston. And she runs an orphanage in Tanzania. Right. And it's on um, Houston Jewish Women, you know, that, that website that a lot of us are on. Mm -hmm. Houston Jewish Moms or something. And you right. can order uh, five face masks for $20. And they're wonderful face masks. And it's for a wonderful cause. Yeah, it's a wonderful organization. That's the organization that, sa that when Sammy went to Tanzania and volunteered for two weeks. Um, that's the same organization. He volunteered for that orphanage. It's Mandy Stein, is that her name? Yeah. Yeah. She's from here. I'll have a link out so we can get on there. Okay. I'll put it on the chat. Thank Good. you. Hi, Jane. Whose puppy is that? Where? That's Dina Linda's oh. screen saver. Uh -huh. I realized I was on mute. Hello, everyone. Hi, Jane. Long time no talk. I know. Hi. Hi, Lenora. Hello. <laughs> Mike's going to join us. Come on, honey. Andrew, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. I had a big, long work day, and, and now it's over. Okay, good. Actually, I meant... I, I totally appreciate it, but I met the other Andrew, Andrew Goldstein. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Um, I'm Andrew, doing great. I would have asked. I would have asked you and oh. Lisa how you're doing. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Andrew Goldstein, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm very glad that it is Shabbat and that it is not a Monday or a Tuesday or a Wednesday or a Thursday. <laughs> yeah, that is good. Oh, look, Matt, who's that holy you holding? Oh, I heard puppy. That's a little puppy. That's the latest houseman wife. She's not little. She's so cute. cute. <laughs> you too. Are you cute? Yes, you are. But she's sweet. Oh, really? Oh. You have a baby naming? She's going to the bliss. Yeah. Look <laughs> how she is. She's huge. Oh, oh my God. She's already grown four pounds. How she's big will she get? Um, About 50, we think. We don't know. We're hoping uh, not as big as we're kind of thinking. We've all gained four <laughs> pounds. Hope she's not as big as Rafi. That's what we're concerned right. about. She's so cute. Oh, Hi, Jean. They're going to be little when they get big. Jean Salatin, can you hear us? Mm, you're chewing a mommy. Chew. He looks like he likes to chew. <laughs> he she really does. does. I'm not holding his favorite, her favorite dish. Hello, around. Kelly. Yeah. Hello, uh, um. Autumn, right? No. Kelly, what's your daughter's name? I can't hear you. Walker? Walker. I don't know where I got Autumn. Hi, Walker. Hi. Hi, <laughs> welcome. Uh, Jean is on mute. Who is? Jean Salatin. Huh. She's on mute. Yeah. Hi, Sandy. Hi, who said that? I'm, I'm on the phone. 
Rich. <laughs> hey, everybody. Do the window. No, you're not. Not now. Hello, Susan. Lenora. After um, Harvey, we took care of Rafi for six weeks or so. And he couldn't stand up, pull his back legs up if he slid off his mat. <clears throat> and our dog knew that David would then come and lift him up and then he was fine. Well, when it happened and David was at work, Lori would stand and bark at Rafi's tushy and look at me. It's like, mommy, you're supposed to pick it up. You're supposed to pick it up. And he was too heavy for me and I couldn't. It was so cute. Yeah, he was to take boy. care of him. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna mute you because we're gonna start in a second. Well, this is the pre-show. <laughs> the pre-show. The pre-show. Welcome to the pre-show. Let's have some. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome to the pre-show. This is the pre-show. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Shema Kulenu and our Shabbat. I'm going to invite you to begin with your breath. Begin with inspiration and exhalation. Now this time, even though we can't hear you, I want you to draw in breath. And then really loudly so that you can hear it and maybe break through what we can hear, breathe it out. Ah. Breathe it in. And once again. Ah. <clears throat> Our job as Jews is to plant light, is to create moments of light's reflection upon our souls and upon that of the world. We plant light so that it comes to appear in our lives and the lives of others. We open our, <clears throat> we open our Shabbat service with Andrew and Jonathan Goldstein, opening with Or Zarua. Go ahead and start, I'll get the, I'll get the slide up in a moment. It sounds good. Adonai 
last Shabbat of the month of Av in this year that is soon going to come to a close, the Jewish year anyway, the year 5780. <clears throat> it's been quite a year, as I think all of us would contend. And maybe it's a year that we are willing to say goodbye to. But it is indeed a year that I am sure has been filled with simchas and joys as well. Daily, monthly, annually. But this tonight is the last Shabbat of Av, which means we have one more month of the Jewish year, Elul the ramp-up to Rosh Hashanah, which begins next Friday evening. So I invite you to begin the journey to Rosh Hashanah with We Return. We return, we return, we return, we return, we return, return again. We return, we return, we return, we return, we return. Again and again to love, to love, to love. We 
return again to truth. Oh, Hashivenu Adonai Elecha Bena Shuvah Hadesh We return, we return, we return, we return, we return, we I place God before me always. May I take a moment? May I take a moment to rest right here? To feel my breathing? To sense aliveness inside and outside? May I take a moment to feel the beating of my heart? To sense the air on my cheek? to hear the sounds that come and go, to smell the air. May I take a moment to rest, to open, to listen, and to remember that I, I am connected to everything that is, was, and will be. Shiviti Adonai Linegdi Tamid. May God's life giving presence be known in every part of my body, in the depths of my being, and in everything I encounter in this moment. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam 
אשר קידשנו במצוותיו וציוונו להדליק נר, להדליק נר של שבת. שבת שלום. I ask you to please rise as we continue. I'm sorry, please be seated. Stay seated. I did that last time too. <laughs> we continue with Lachadodi, but we will rise at the last stanza. Sola to 
So if this is the first time you're, you're hearing the, uh, the Goldstein twins, um, I am really glad that you're getting a chance to. Uh, Jonathan is, by day, Jonathan is a software exec, um, but I'm not sure what he spends more time doing, his job or his, uh, or his volunteer jobs. Um, but we are so glad to have him here, as well as his son, Andrew, who is truly the future of Reformed Jewish music. It is so great to be uh, led by you, Andrew. Um, welcome you to our community as always. I welcome everybody who is just joining us. Uh, it is now time to call ourselves to this moment of worship with Baruch those of you who have your picture open. Um, and that's okay. I don't need to. But I assume that you're probably at least a little bit like me and that you're somewhat easily distracted, certainly by the thoughts in, that arise in your mind. And you might be wondering at this point in the service, maybe you're not, maybe you are. What should I be feeling right now? How is this supposed to go? What does prayer really feel like when we do it right? Quote unquote, right. I don't think there's a book, uh, a dictionary definition. But I know that better, feeling better right now than you did 20 minutes ago, that's a good measure. Hopeful, more peaceful, a little quieter, 
you could adjust your blood pressure having gone down a few ticks. Whatever it is, I think it's guided by a sense of wholeness and depth of feeling. So if you're not feeling that, try to target yourself towards that effort. But it's an effortless effort. Don't try too hard. Just be.
At this time in our service, like always, we invite you to share your simchas, your good newses, the things that you are happy about that happened this week that have made the week worth it. Um, I invite you to uh, write those into the chat, and I will uh, read them as they come through. Can you hear me, Rabbi? I can. This is Al Eisenberg in Maryland. Hey, Al. Good Shabbos. Um, two things, if I may. Uh, the first is that I want to thank Jody Gibson for making a wonderful Shabbos dinner for us tonight. She caters to the elderly people, so that's nice. <laughs> the second thing is I want to tell you that Marilyn and I just celebrated our anniversary July the 8th. We weren't online, so we couldn't tell you about it. Happy anniversary. And what number is it, Al? 64. 64. Mazel tov. Yeah. Mazel tov. Thank you. We are so happy to welcome you and so, and so it's nice excited to see that you're you. joining us. It's nice to see you again. You too. You too. Can you see us? When I hit the gallery view, I can. Because I can't see us. Yes. Uh, yes, I can, can see you. Yes. I have my undershirt on, so don't Thank turn you. it off. <laughs> um, David and Debbie Gersh are offering their uh, oh congratulations and uh, happy birthday to Jonathan, who turned 33 this week, and happy anniversary to Alan Marilyn from 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 the Seligs and from all of us. Susan Nurlov started a version each week for the next six weeks. That sounds wonderful. Good for you. Looking to see if there's any more coming through. And um, all of you, most of you know um, our wonderful song leader and friend, Sam Siner, who lives in Chicago now, who joined us for a couple of Shabbat this summer. Sam just got married. If you are a friend of his on Facebook, you can check him out, check, check them out. Um, he got married, and he and Zoe, and uh, they look very happy. So you might want to send them good wishes via Facebook Messenger. And um, <clears throat> Richard Elbine, can I say, Biden-Harris team, wow, you definitely can. Mazel tov to Biden and Mamala, as she has shared with everyone, is her nickname. Rabbi? Yes. Um, I think I hit send too quickly, but I wanted to share my simcha of two wonderful CSK angels, Sandy and Joan, who came by my house today with a wonderful Jewish vegan feast for me, and I'm so grateful to them. It was wonderful and grateful to this community as well. That's wonderful. Jewish vegan feast. <laughs> yeah, no small task. No, uh -uh, definitely not. All right, well, we are going to continue with our service. Please continue to, to share your simchas with each other on the chat as we continue with Micha Mocha. Micha Mocha Pa'elim Adonai Micha Mocha Nazar Pa'kodesh Micha Mocha Pa'elim Adonai Mi kamocha nazar bakodesh, Nora tehilot osefele, Nora tehilot osefele, Adonai imok meulam vachlet. Bachut techara ubanecha, Okay, I am. Lifne Moshe Miriam, the Eliyahu ve'amru, the Eliyahu ve'amru Adonai, Im loch le'olam va'eh. Mi kamocha pa'elim Adonai, mi kamocha nazar pa'kodesh, 
Mi chamocha ba'elim adonai Mi chamocha nazar pa'kodesh No ra tehilot And a night-night prayer. <laughs> Not that you have to go to bed yet. Askevenu is the Jewish night-night prayer, praying that we can sleep solidly, comfortably, in peace. <laughs> whisper, closing my eyes to look to you, for you, but all I see is the inside of my eyelids, screen of the 19-inch black and white television of my childhood, the knob stuck on a channel that doesn't come in, and yet I turn to you, not turning really, but I, black, I back float and you hover above me. I'm staring out the window of the train at the seagulls and the passing mounds of municipal waste, and you follow me like the moon, Kadosh Baruch Hu. That is your name. Not translated holy, blessed, but set apart, revered. Kadosh Baruch Hu, set apart, revered. It must, it must be lovely. Kadosh Baruch Hu, to be alive in your world is to be umbilical, corded and to be belly buttoned and to be umbilical corded again. Kadosh Baruch Hu, you are like a Spanish love song in which presence and absence pass by one another on the sidewalk and exchange glances. And speaking of music, I thank you for being just a song away. Birds, frogs, squirrels, hats, all, bats, all creatures who contributed ingredients to the first human song, how that all happened, rhythm and melody, yeah, 
If that was you, if that was what you were aiming for, wow. And even if it wasn't, just an unexpected byproduct, still, wow. Wow, wow, and thank you. The things I'm supposed to say to you, you gird me with strength. You remove slumber from my eyes. You support my steps. You lift me up, give me energy when I am weary. What I really say before you, that there is nothing to say. Please accept my humming and off-key melodies, my sighs and my silence. And when my lips open to say, kadosh, 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 may I elevate just a little closer to your distant and dreamy kingdom. We continue with Amida. Please rise. Na 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 Anana na 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 ufi yagi ufi yagi te hila te ha Anana na 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 adonai Anana na 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 swatai Ana na 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 ufi agi ufi agi te ila te ha ana na 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 donai ana na 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 spatai tikta. Ana na 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 ufi agi ufi agi te hila te ha Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu veLohei Avoteinu veImoteinu Eloheinu Abraham Eloheinu Yitzchak Eloheinu Yaakov Eloheinu Sarah Eloheinu Rivka Eloheinu Rachel veLoheinu Leah Ha'el ha'gadol ha'gibor v'hanora El el yon Gomel chasatim tovim V'konei ha'kol V'zocher chasdei avo v'imahot V'me v'igula l'ivnei v'neihem L'man shemo v'achava Melech ozer u'moshia u'magein Baruch atah Adonai, Magain Abraham ve'ezrat Sarah. Atah gibor le'olam Adonai, Mechaye ha'kol atah rab l'choshia. Morin atah, Mechalkel chayim v'chesed, Mechaye ha'kol v'rachamim rabim. Zohomech noflim v'rofe ho'olim, Umatir asurim, umekaye memunato, lishene afar, mi chamo chalbal kivurot, umido melech, melech me mit, umechaye, umat miach yeshua, benamanat alachachayot hako, baharuchata adonai. I invite you to be seated as we turn our thoughts and our prayers to those in need of healing and wholeness. Shlemut, refuah. 
call to mind those who are in need of healing and those who support those who are in need of healing. They too need so much support. I invite you to write these names into our chat. And I really strongly encourage you to fulfill the promise I make on behalf of you that we will all read these names, promising to each other that we will give these names resonance, sound, volume, that their prayers may echo upon our eardrums and into the heavens. We continue reading those names and praying Mishaberach with this beautiful version of Prayer for Healing. El God of our ancestors, dear God of our ancestors, help us renew our faith, help us renew our faith, grant us perfect healing, grant us perfect healing, bring peace to all our days. Our tired spirits, refresh our tired spirits, rejuvenate our life. Precious gift of life. Thank you once again to Jonathan and Andrew for leading us so beautifully tonight. I have a few announcements to share with you. It's definitely an indicator that the, uh, that the, that the, that the new year is, is getting closer because uh, the announcements are getting longer. So uh, I apologize for the length, but uh, it's important to let you know. <clears throat> First of all, at the beginning of um, when we all got on tonight, uh, someone mentioned, I think Karen mentioned, how beautiful the video is of Hannah, <clears throat> excuse me, Hannah Madeline Goodman singing Avina Malkenu. It is posted to our homepage. It was also in our e-letter. 
Uh, this, we are making a bunch of videos for the High Holy Days. Um, the videos are more for um, a backup. Um, Hannah will be singing live, but with recorded music. And uh, she will be actually live from New York. Um, and she is terrific. And Andrew Leonard and Kelly Dean and Daphne Johnson and Leo Hernandez and Hannah are hard at work preparing for our High Holy Days. Um, so it is going to be tremendous. And I am so excited about what we can do uh, with our technology to deliver the High Holies to you safely. Signups and registration will be coming soon. Uh, I believe for sure by a week from um, this week, as, as Elul begins, the registration will begin as well. Um, <clears throat> please remember that our 10 at noon program continues Monday through Friday at noon for 10 to 12 minutes. Um, it is really a terrific opportunity to just settle in in the middle of the day for 10 to 12 minutes. Everybody's got 10 to 12 minutes of, of prayer, of meditation, of music. Um, our Hebrew class, Hebrew uh, Words of the Way In, is continuing this Tuesday and will continue through the end of August. And we are studying and looking in depth at, the, at certain prayers from the High Holy Days and understanding them from the inside out. We have our schmooze this Wednesday, which will start right after 10 at noon. Uh, next Friday evening, uh, J.B. Levine will be joining us from San Jose. And we will be celebrating uh, with the Halfon family who will be celebrating their son Sam's bar mitzvah the next day. It will be our first CSK Zoom bar mitzvah. So we are uh, very excited about that. Um, uh, uh, we have a, um, a cooking class being offered by Carol Pock from Dallas or from Fort Worth. She is offering the class um, and she's inviting you to participate in it. There is no fee. She's inviting people to make contributions. It's next Sunday, August 23rd and August 30th from 2 to 3.30 and 100% uh, of the contributions go to support CSK. Uh, CSK Women's Book Discussion Uncovered How I Left Hasidic Life and Finally Came Home by Leah Lax will be taking place Sunday, August 30th at 10.30 in the morning. Uh, the Kosher Pretzel is back. Rochelle Manigal will be teaching us next Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock. Please join us. And last but not least, we as a congregation are going to be promoting as much as possible and encouraging our congregation to fill out their census, census forms and to make sure they are registered to vote. There will be more information about that to come. We are not promoting any political party, any political position, just that you and all of those you know and love are connected with Shema Kulenu, do their part in being a citizen of our society, filling out the census form and registering to vote. And with all that, I want to share with you a brief story. The story goes that there was once a grand kingdom that was ruled by a king and a queen who were known more for anything else they were known for their kindness and their compassion they led with kindness and compassion they led with ensuring dignity and respect in all people and because of this commitment to kindness and compassion they were truly beloved, except by a few. There were a few who operated within a different mindset. They believed wholeheartedly that there are only winners and losers. There are only those who are inside and then everyone else is outside. Power is crucial and wielding power over others was even more so. And so the small minority would meet and discuss how to overthrow the king and queen of kindness 
And finally, there arose within their ranks a wizard. A wizard who understood and who was able to develop a curse. And the curse he came up with was to curse all of the coming harvest. And that all who ate of this coming harvest would go mad for seven years. They would lose their minds for seven years. The king and queen heard about what had, what, what had happened. They were too late to change the impact of this curse. They knew that no matter what they did, the food would be cursed. So they ordered all of their subjects to bring together into the castle all the food that, had, that was still uncontaminated. And they found that once they did this, there was only enough for one person to eat and stay alive for seven years. And so they, they thought to themselves, how do we do this? How do, and they decided to ask their prophet, their dear, loving friend. And they explained the situation to him. And they said, we charge you with this most important job. You must eat of the uncontaminated food. And your job for the next seven years is to go from one side of the kingdom to another and remind everyone that they are crazy, that they are nuts, that they've lost their minds, and that the, the behavior that they're, they're engaging in isn't kosher. It isn't condoned by the king and the queen. And even though it may be hard, we need you to do this. And so he agreed. And only in a matter of a few weeks, everyone literally had gone mad, except for him. And he rode around, reminding everyone, telling everyone, declaring to everyone that they were mad, that they'd lost their minds. And on one particular occasion, a few years into this, one individual looks up at the prophet on his horse and he says, you know, you keep coming back here. You keep telling us that we've lost our minds. But yet, you're the only person who is speaking these words. Perhaps, perhaps it is you who have lost his mind. And all the rest of us are sane. And the, the, the prophet said, you know, I've thought that myself many, many times, but I know I made a pledge to the king and queen to remind everyone that they are not operating in a kind and gentle and correct way. But then he turned away and he thought to himself, but all of the brutality, all of the damage, all of the, the horror, all of the crime that he had witnessed and thought, let's be real. Perhaps I'm not doing this for you. Perhaps I'm just doing this for me to remind myself that there is a better way. That there is a better way with kindness and gentility and goodness and generosity. And that it isn't true that it's either winners or losers. It isn't true that it's either those who are inside and those who are outside. But that all of us are created in God's image. All of us. All of us deserve kindness. And this individual looked back up at the prophet and he said, maybe so. And maybe we will awake from the dream that we are in and be able to step into yours. The Torah portion this week is Re'eh. And this week's Torah portion, last week's and ne next week's in Deuteronomy, use the word Hayom today over and over and over again 
in ways that make sense, in ways that don't make sense. In ways that make sense, where Moses is quoting himself or God about when they spoke to the Israelites back then. Oops. But then there's the times when, the, when Moses and God are speaking to the Israelites. And speaking of Hayom, today. But it's not today. It's a different time. But Hayom is spoken over and over and over again. Because we must remember that these words, that these teachings, that these traditions are not meant just from a day long gone, but rather for this day right now. We're living in a world that is challenging and difficult and frustrating, filled with news that doesn't seem to get better. But we have a responsibility nonetheless because this is our world. It's not happening out there. It's happening here. And so Hayom, today, we can be that prophet. We can speak out and step in and be the ones who seek and create a world of compassion and dignity and respect. In a world like this, sometimes I feel like, I feel like the prophet. And no one seems to be listening. Not you, but the world. May we find the ability to create again a world of peace and gentleness and compassion and kindness because we need it. We need it bad. Shabbat Shalom. We continue with Aleinu. I invite you to please rise. Alenu le shabbat shalom ako la take do la le sevre shit shalo asana kogo ye arasol hello samanu kmish bechot adama shalo sam khalkenu kahem begor alenu kechol hamonam va anachnu korim umish tachabim umodim Lifne Melech, Malche Hamlachim, Hakadosh Baruchu. Benemar, Vayadonai, Lemelech al Kolharetz, Vayom Hahu, Vayom Hahu, Ie Adonai Echad, Ushemo. Ushemo, Ushemo Echad. At this time, I invite you to write in the names of people whom you are thinking of, who have passed away, who are no longer walking this earth, but whose memory remains with you as a blessing. And I ask that we all take the time to read these names as an affirmation, as a promise to each other to cause their light to shine brighter in the world. The Kaddish is about opening the window, not looking through the glass, but opening the window, the window of the heart, the window into not knowing, opening the window on fear and love, opening the window on time and space. Le'olam ulomei ulmaya, just that, opening the window to the kingdom that is just this, 
opening the window to the name, the great name, no name. Amen. We continue with Kaddish. Yid Kadal, Yid Kadash, Shemei Rabbah. Be'alma divrachi rutei v'yamlich ma'achutei. Be'chayechon v'yamechon v'chayei d'chol b'ch Yisrael. V'agalah v'zman kariv v'imru, Amen. E'e Shemei Rabbah m'varach le'olam u'mei al-maya. Yiparach v'yishtabach v'yipa'ar v'yitramam v'yitnasei. V'yitadar v'yitalei v'yitalal Shemei d'kudsha b'richu. Le'ela min kobirchata v'shirata. Tushpechata v'nechemata. Da'amiran b'yalma v'imru, Amen. Yehei Shlomo Rabba min Shemaya. V'chayim alinu v'yal kol Yisrael v'imru, Amen. Rose shalom b'mramav. Hu ya'ase shalom alinu v'yal kol Yisrael v'imru, Amen. May the one who makes peace in the high places make peace upon us, upon all Israel and all the world, and let us say, Amen. I invite you to be seated as we conclude with this wonderful tune by Joe Buchanan called Return. I will take a look at me Think about what it is I've seen Have I been good to you? Did I do all I said I do? Remembering the words I used Thinking about the times I was rude If I am thankful for this gift Let me say it were deeds, not just lips It's gonna be a brave new year Starting right now, right here and I will be strong and stand up tall Reach out for others when they fall. I will rejoice in my faith. Remember that love is why we're made. Be the very best that I can be for the world and for me. Every day we live our lives. Some days we let ourselves fly. And we forget our way Thankfully it's not too late Avinu malkeinu Honeinu vanenu I may have done wrong, I know Through my actions I will show It's gonna be a brave new year Starting right now, right here And I will be strong and stand up tall Reach out for others when they fall I will rejoice in my faith Remember that love is why we're made Be the very best that I can be For the world and for me Oh, return Oh, return To Shuba Oh, to Shuba Oh, return Oh, return it's gonna be a great new year <laughs> Starting right now, right here And I will be strong and stand up tall Reach out for others when they fall I will rejoice in my faith And remember that love is why we're made to Be the very best that I can the world and for me, oh, to Shiva, to Shiva, oh, return, oh, return, to Shiva.
We lift up, thank you very much to Jonathan and Andrew, and we lift up our glasses and we sing. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri HaGafen Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kitchanu B'mitzvotav Veratzav Anu Veshabbat Kodesho Veava Uvratzon Hinchilanu Zikaron Lemase Bereshit Ki Hu Yom Techila Lemikro e kodesh, zechel tziyat mitzrayim. Kivanu vacharta, veotanu kidashta, mikolanu. Baruch ata Adonai, mekadesh hashabbat. L'chaim! Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Hamotzi Lechem Min Aretz. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Jonathan and Andrew. Bye bye. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Shabbat shalom. Miss you guys. Feel better, Jay. Thank you. And Linda and anybody else not feeling good. Hello. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Hope everybody stays safe and well. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Shabbat shalom, Jean. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Out there who's hiding. Enjoy, enjoy your dinner, Linda. So awesome. Enjoy I'm so glad. A couple of days. <laughs> Jody Gibson made dinner for the. Uh... <laughs> that was a nice looking collar, Richard. How are y'all doing? Good. Good. Good to see you. Good to see you too.